What is going on everybody? I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today I am back here in Madden 25 and today I'm going to be doing a speeder build of the Los Angeles Chargers. And so if you're new around here and you don't know what a speeder build is, basically it's a challenge where I only get 10 minutes to make as many trades as possible to try and build up this team and win a Super Bowl in one season. And so like I said, today I am doing the Los Angeles Chargers and just looking at the roster, we are currently an 82 overall with an 83 offense and an 81 defense and just looking at the offense we already got our quarterback Justin Herbert at an 86 overall there is a few guys we could trade for to improve the quarterback position however that would take a lot of draft capital and other assets but there is some pretty good players on this team Joey Bosa Khalil Mack 90 overall Derwin James at 91 overall, Justin Herbert's an 86, and of course Rashawn Slater at a 91. Joe Alt as a rookie is up to an 83, and they got Zion Johnson 77 with Star Dev out there as well. And they also have J.K. Dobbins who was on my fantasy team earlier in the year. However, I unfortunately released him before he started going off and got like 20 points in a few games to start the year. So that was not really a good GM move by me, but you know, it is what it is. So just checking where our picks projected. So we're projected the fifth overall pick. So all of our draft picks are going to have very good value. So that is going to help out a lot when it comes to making trades. And in regards to simulation, I'm not really sure how well the Chargers offensive playbook does. However, we're going to find out. I don't really know if it has a favor towards the run game or if it's like a balanced thing or if it's a more pass heavy playbook. So we'll just have to find out through experience, which I mean, that could go well and it also could backfire tremendously. But yeah, I think that's enough of me talking. I think it's time we go ahead and get started. All right, so I got my timer set up right next to me. I'm going to go ahead and start it in three, two, one. Okay, 10 minutes on the clock. So first things first. I really don't know what first things first are. Well, I guess we should go for a wide receiver. We should get at least one. That's at least an 85 overall, I would say. And we also are going to need a tight end and some offensive linemen. So let me go to the Bengals and let me look at T. Higgins. I know T. Higgins is kind of hard to trade for, but let's just see. Yeah, that is not happening. Okay. Um, what about their tight end situation? Mike Gesicki, 79 overall, pretty decent. Um, what wide receivers are easy to trade for, which I should know because I put out two of the easiest players to trade for in my 25 videos, which if you've not seen those, I recommend you go check them out. <clears throat> but I mean, that's, I don't know, like DeAndre Hopkins, 32, 85 overall. Yeah, he's easier to get. So what if I threw in DeAndre Hopkins and then like. I mean, getting Joe Thune or I butchered that name there, Joe Thune or Trey Smith, that would be nice, but like I would have to give up a lot to do that. So I don't really think that's a good idea. So what if I threw in Nick Bolton, 82 overall, and then Trent McDuffie would be so nice. I mean, let me try it just, just to see. It's the fifth overall projected pick, so maybe just maybe I could get something to work out and I'll throw in Christian Fulton and then they need a free safety Elijah Molden they need a right end Scott Matlock and then the fifth overall projected pick would this go through that's actually very close if I threw in like a second and a very nice pick I might throw that in okay I'll throw in this very nice pick here would this go through okay giving up two seconds and a first i'm completely fine with doing that please go through oh my gosh what if i took out scott matlock doing the third rounder would this go through oh that is so close what if i threw in i'll go th three seconds maybe this should go through come on dude you're actually joking okay i'll take elijah molden out and i'll throw in a fourth round pick please tell me this goes through Okay, there we go. We get DeAndre Hopkins, Nick Bolton, Trent McDuffie. Had to give up a lot to get him, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Like I said, this is only a one season thing, so we do want to trade away all of our draft picks because there's really no use for them after this year. So we got a lot of guys we can trade. So Quentin Johnston, he should have decent value. Jalen Reger, I did not know he was on this team, but we still do need a tight end. We're going to throw in Hayden Hurst here. 
and we still do need some offensive linemen so and some defense alignment but linebacker we're good we can throw in uh i don't know how to pronounce his name we can throw him in the deal though corners we are good i mean i guess slot corner i'm stuttering oh my gosh we could use a slot corner so that's something to keep in mind so let's go looking for tight ends um preferably like 81 at least that would be like ideal and Trey McBride is he easy to get though like 85 overall Will Hernandez we could also ask for him and then I mean could we possibly you know I'll just ask for Jalen Thompson instead because I know Buda Baker is gonna be like impossible to get so what if I threw in two-thirds just to see just for reference I mean, I don't have any seconds anymore, so I mean, do I give up a first round pick for this package? I mean, that's a good question. Maybe I would give up this one if I could also get like a fourth rounder back, because like I said, I do have to trade away all of my picks basically, kind of have to do that. Okay, what if I ask for Buda Baker instead of Jalen Thompson? just to see how far does this get me okay what if i threw in two third rounders would this go through okay i'll take buda baker out jalen thompson would this go through with the third rounder okay it goes through that is a lot of draft capital but we are making improvements to the team and you know you got to do what you got to do so we'll take that we get some more weapons in this offense for justin herbert adding Trey McBride to the team and Will Hernandez. Well, he's not really an offensive weapon. He's more like, well, I mean, he kind of helps. So we'll take it. Um, okay, so we'll throw in DJ Chark. Wide receiver wise, I mean, we could use another one just because like development isn't really a thing. So I don't know. I mean, we could use a center as well. So and we need some defense alignment so i'm gonna focus on that actually because we got just under five minutes left so we're doing very good time wise i'm not worried about that at all so if we could just get i would say an 80 overall on the defensive line i know montez sweat was there but he is an exterior rush guy so i'm an edge rusher why did i say exterior that's so stupid um but yeah so wide receiver wise they don't have gabe davis that's right Amari Cooper, he might be easy to trade for, actually. Just out of curiosity, how far does this get me? Okay, what if I threw in a first rounder? Probably not, but I would do this for... Okay, that's very close. I'm willing to give up a first if they give me... I don't even know who I would ask for. Like, Von Miller, I could, but he's an interior guy. I mean, not an interior, an edge. But, you know, we'll, we'll ask for him. And I'll throw in this third. Will this go through? That's very close. I mean, is it worth giving up like... Do I have two thirds? I do. I mean, let's just see. Will this go through? That's so close, man. The thing is, I don't really have many assets I can trade besides picks. So, for a fifth, would this... Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, I mean, I'll take Von Miller out. Actually, what I could do, throw Von Miller in, take out the third, take out the third, and then I put in Lad McConkey. Would this go through? Okay. I'm willing to do that because, you know, like I said, it's not about development. Obviously, long term, this trade would not happen. But this is a short term thing. Just one season. Would this go through? Okay, yeah. So I'll take him out, take Von Miller out. And then, I mean,. Should I just ask for like Daquan Jones and then would this go through? Okay, I'll throw in the third round pick and fourth, would this go through? Come on, dude, they've got to accept something here. There's two minutes, so I kind of have to get this going. Okay, take out Daquan Jones and then I'll take out thirds, would this go through? That's so close, man. Fifth rounder, third. Just go through. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we got two minutes left, so we just got to make moves. 
Okay, that goes through. So we get Ed Oliver and Amari Cooper. Adding two big pieces to this team. And yeah, I mean, we just need a center, I would say. And we'll move Gus Edwards. And then we'll also move Joshua Palmer in order to do so. And Will Disley. So a center and I would say just one more defense alignment. Because I can kick Puna Ford out to like right end. Because this is a 3-4, so that would make sense. Because Madden is just great with terminology. So uh, we'll do that. And then that should be my last trade because there's only like 90 seconds left. So Ted Karras and then just give me BJO. Like why not? And then could I also get Mike Hilton? I would do this deal. Just straight up with this go through. It's close. I'll just throw in the remainder of my draft picks because I don't really have many. So two fourths and a fifth with this go through. That's so close. Okay, what if I take out the fifth? What if I take out Will Disley and threw in like, do I have any good backups? Elijah Molden with this go through. That's close. What if I put the fifth round pick back in? Would this go through? Come on, that's so close, dude. 40 seconds, okay, we gotta make something happen here. So, do I just trade Lack Lad McConkey because he has more trade value? So, you know, gotta do what you gotta do with this go. Okay, if I throw in the fifth rounder, this should absolutely go. I, it was already in the deal. I just didn't notice. Fourth, that's already in the deal. Okay, six round pick. Would this go through? Oh my gosh, dude, you're actually kidding me. Twenty seconds. Elijah Molden. Would that be? Dude, you're actually kidding me. There's no way I don't get this trade off. Bud Dupree, would this go through? Okay, nine seconds, bro. This guy, Thule, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, and it goes through. All right, that is going to be my last trade here as my timer is going to expire. That was very loud, and it's 4.08 a.m., so it's less than ideal. But all right, I think we made this team a lot better. Let's see, is the adjust lineup glitch still going on? Yeah, it is, but we're up to an 86 overall with an 88 offense and an 85 defense. I'm actually pretty surprised we're only up to an 88 offense, honestly, but you know, we'll take it. I gotta manually adjust the depth chart because of that glitch, which makes this kind of annoying, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So yeah, I just gotta go through each and every single one. So Joe Alt would be a 94 as a tight end. You know, that might be something to consider. All right, so I think I got all the positions and everything correct in the depth chart. I'll just go through it one more time after I finish this clip, just to be 100% sure. But yeah, I'm very surprised we're only up to an 88 overall because I believe we were an 84 or an 83, if I'm not mistaken. And we improved every position except quarterback, running back, tackle, and left guard like we literally improved every position by like a significant number so that is pretty surprising but i mean i guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day well to me it does because i care about that stuff but i mean if we win games then i guess who really cares also this is kind of a side note if you are a regular here on my channel and you notice there might be something a little different about this video i am using a new computer and monitor and everything so if I sound a little different or if the quality looks a little different, that's the reason why. Because I am still working to get everything set up and everything like that. So there might be some changes as I try to like work with everything and improve my videos and stuff like that. So yeah, just a little side note if you are regular here and you have noticed any of that stuff. But if you're new here and you've stuck around this long, I hope I'm doing a pretty good job of that so far. But yeah, with that little side note out of the way, Looking at this offense, man, this offense is very good. We got Justin Herbert, some very good receivers, Amari Cooper, DeAndre Hopkins, and then we got him a tight end with Trey McBride. We improved that O-line for him and J.K. Dobbins to go off for 2,000, maybe even 3,000 yards. And maybe even Justin Herbert scrambles for 2,000 yards. That could happen. But yeah, this offense only being an 88 overall is pretty ridiculous. It should be like a 99, but... I mean, I guess it is what it is. Can't really do much about it. But I could really see this offense going on to win the Super Bowl. I think it's very possible. And then in regards to the 85 overall defense, which I'm very surprised the defense is an 85 as well. Because was it not like an 83? Or maybe it was an 82. I don't know. But like I still improved like every position. The defensive line is better. And we made massive improvements on the defensive line. So 
Yeah, I don't really understand that rating, but I guess the game is just against us. And I've been noticing that the game is against me all day, so yeah but yeah this is not a podcast this is a speed rebuild video so we're gonna go on to simming this season to see how well this team does but before we do that we gotta do the record prediction and i'm gonna go ahead and say this team has a ceiling of like 13 and 4 and a floor of like 11 and 6 i'd say that is a pretty wide range i guess but i mean well i mean it's the difference between like winning the division and like barely getting like the seventh seed i feel like this team can win the division but the thing is though the chiefs are like insanely overpowered so i don't know it's really up in the air but at the end of the day it's madden and madden loves patrick mahomes because he gets like 50 touchdowns a year and like 20,000 yards is crazy but yeah i'll go with my prediction at 12 and 5 you guys can comment your record prediction if you would like and without further ado let's go ahead and sim the season all right the season simulation is almost done mock draft number three i wonder who's we went 10 and 7 i'm gonna lose my mind we went 10 and 7 bro oh my gosh bro the jets did better than us are you kidding dude you're telling me the jets have a better team than us we were 30th with pass yards justin herbert what happened bro you're actually kidding me 10 and 7 dude th there's no way you're telling me we were three games better than the raiders three games better than the las vegas raiders dude there's no way like you know i i understand not winning the division you know i get that it's the chiefs they're very good in madden but missing the playoffs at 10 and 7 dude, this is a joke this is seriously a joke and the fact that we were 30th with pass yards like how do we average under 200 with justin herbert amari cooper deandre hopkins how does this happen bro well i guess i probably should have used a different playbook so i guess that's kind of on me i kind of thought i should because i really don't know how the charges one works but yeah, I definitely should have used a different one. That's crazy to me, man. But yeah, with that being said, you guys can let me know in the comments which team you guys would like to see me do a speed rebuild of next. I do have a playlist of all the previous ones that I've done up on my page. I also do have a ton of other Madden 25, NBA 2K25, and gaming content playlists in general on my page. So you guys can feel free to go check those out. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate that. And yeah, I'll see you all next time.